previously on the NoVP channel. That's my p <laughs> And coming up. Oh baby, when I sniff glue, it makes everything go blue. I find you very rude. <laughs> The Novimpia Chanel is made possible by our gorgeous patrons who get access to the most unappealing crap you'll find anywhere on the whole internet. Start the shit show. Yes, hello, yes! Hi. Uh... <laughs> God, look who's back with a brand new Novimpia treat starring you girls. I can't believe that you're wearing this today. I'm not allowed to move an inch because the microphone, no, don't. The microphone is just down here and it's plastic and it makes a really uh, 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 hey, uh. Oh yeah. Okay, well anyway. <laughs> ah, this is very exciting because we are here, Nova. What? We are talking Eurovision again. Not another one. Eurovision 2022, we've got all the songs. We have all the songs, guys. Can so, you imagine? Um, oh. We did do a little prelim video a few weeks ago. Um, prelim. Everything that had been released Eurovision up until that moment, but now we have all the songs. So we are going to give you our combined scores. So be our top, however many it ends up being. Yes. So we did this last year. Oh, is this Ireland? <sighs> it's Leslie. Ah, oh, love her. Shut up. There's an app, first of all, that we should mention called My Eurovision Scoreboard, mm. and. If you are like in, into Eurovision Twitter, you'll know about this fucking app. People go off on on it, like using it. I don't really. It's not pay... worth shit. It, I don't. So basically, <laughs> you can assign your own personal scores to all of the Eurovision acts, and then you can see what all the other users are thinking. Yes, um, from I a don't very really, small pool of people. So. I don't really care so much about looking at how everyone else is doing. Like, it's, it is interesting, but I just do it more to keep track of my own thoughts. Yeah, so you take- there's so many of them, and sometimes you forget about the ones that aren't your favourites. Yes, you take the results with a pinch of salt. However, we have ranked our top 10 with assigned scores, mm. and they've been combined. Now, Nova, how many countries do you think we're going to end up talking about between you and I? Top 10. I reckon maybe 15. It's 14. <sighs> so there's only, there isn't much. We've got a lot of crossover. Yeah. I don't, can't remember if that was the same last year. It's been a weird year, Eurovision 2022. It's, it's from the Bulgarian Eurovision Twitter doing its own fucking thing. Oh, for fuck's sake, what? To like Malta selecting a non-winning song and then choosing another non-winning song. doing a not bad song. There's a lot. Super, super last minute. There's a lot going on this year. And I think last time we mentioned that we thought it was, or people were talking about how it was a weak year. It's certainly not as strong as last year. And I think that's the thing people are, are forgetting is how great last year was. I think that, yeah, I think it. it's not that this year is a weak year. It's that last year was so good. It's perfectly fine. There's a, yeah. I think there's a fairly great selection of songs. It's not outstanding. I love anyway. my top 10. And I would say, like, the the ones that I've placed 11th and 12th, I also really love. Okay, let's just launch into this then. Let's just get into it. I'm so excited. So, obviously, some of these songs are going to be in our top 14. I don't know why I'm looking. You've got it all, haven't you? Yeah, put your, can you pay, first of all, pay attention? I am. I don't know what the fuck you've come as. I've come as, like, a sunset. Another Candy Floss nightmare. It's all I've very got, the same, I've isn't got, like, it? like stars mm. and then it's like sunset sky. It's all very the same. There's not a shred of sophistication. Out of the embers. I've come in a bin liner. <laughs> <laughs> Stop that. No, it's actually, it was very expensive. It was heavily, heavily reduced. I'm always so nervous I've got lipstick on my teeth. Am I good? Oh, God, I can't stand looking so thin. What did you ask me? Lipstick. What about it? Oh, my I teeth. don't like it. Oh. <laughs> First of all, we're going to talk about Lithuania. Oh, is that? Oh, uh, oh. Don't say, oh, is that, as if you don't know. Monica Liu. We're going to call her Monica Liu, actually. We're going to be respectful because she is excellent at work. Get off your phone. Let me tell you about Monica Liu. The song is called Sentimentites for Lithuania. And it is one of the more mature songs for this year. It is very, very effortless. It's very light. It's very sexy. I'll bet a 25th. Oh, 
dare you? You put her 20 feet. Okay, there's gonna be a running theme throughout this, which is <laughs> that you will note. I mean, you know that Nova has questionable taste. No, you'll because... notice that I'm generally correct with these opinions. You know, you're sitting there right now, understanding, you and I have an understanding that she has questionable taste because of the way she's come to presentation today. I look great. How you're, you're not cutting, cutting it, baby. baby. <laughs> It's me, it's me. There's gonna be a running theme where you might sort of like raise an eyebrow at some of Nova's choices. <clears throat> Norway. So, Monica Liu, she's wearing a gorgeous, gorgeous bowl cut. <laughs> She looks a bit like a choir boy, but this is, it's so, it started out higher in my ranking and it's, it's unfortunately gone lower and lower because of things that have come out. Her like Spotify image, she's got like her hair slicked back and it's like a different person. I don't actually know how this is gonna fare in the end. I think it might end up being just maybe a little sugar, bit too sugar, sophisticated. And I'm telling you when she goes, Oh, it gives me life. Gives me life. I get the shits. It's excellent. <laughs> I don't dislike it, but like, yeah, 25th. I don't how know many how many songs it's gonna are there? do though. Well, in total, is is there 40? Right, so 25 out of 40 is not that bad. It's not fucking great. No, it's not bad. She doesn't deserve. What has Monica done to you? Not enough. Anyway, okay, that's. Uh. It's only here because I've given it the one point. Um, it's really tough when you weigh up actually the ones that you are surprised. Like, we haven't got Romania in our top and we sing that all fucking day long. Which ones is that? Well, that would definitely be one of your honorable mentions. Honorable mention, number one. We have our daily Yamame. Our daily Olami Baby. Our daily Olami Baby. We have our daily Yamame. Our daily Olami Baby. And we just put it on, we just sing to each other. Olami Baby. Yeah. And we dance as well yeah, sometimes. Yeah. It's very like middle-aged people trying to re-fire the, the magic, isn't it? Do you think that we still have any magic? No. Okay, next up, um, I've not I've not given this any points. Um, oh, this, so it's like a little switcheroo. This is a switcheroo. This is this is coming in um, at number whatever it is on your screen. This is Spain. <laughs> I really, really like this. It's not the most original song, but she performs it fantastically. And it's a good dance song. I don't think we've got very much, very many upbeat, dancey pop tracks there aren't this that year. Many, Nova. And there were loads last year. <laughs> mm. So I kind of missed that. So I, I, I'm happy that this exists because there's a lot yeah, of mid tempo sure. tracks. There's a lot of like a lot of ballads. Slow ones. Yeah. A lot of slow ones. So I'm happy this exists. I just think she's great average song but i like it it's catchy Written i for sing along to it you could so tell the first time i watched this i said oh it's got a j-lo dance break she's so talented um chanel chanel i always want to say chanel but that's based on absolutely nothing that's based it's on probably, the chanel it's probably just chanel! i think she's so talented and i think this could do well it will certainly be a moment i wouldn't want to miss this when it's on in the final because obviously spain gets straight through to the end and I will not want to miss it because it is an electrifying <clears throat> performance. But in terms of the song, I'm not that bothered by it. I also kind of resent people posting it everywhere. And it makes me kind of, apt to spite them, I'm just going to be like, I'm not going to give a fucking shit. How are we going to be staging at Eurovision? Because I've got two different interpretations of this song here. And I'm not sure which team is going to be staging it. Do you the know what I mean? The video was surprisingly low budge. So I'm not Take sure... Take a video, make it low budge. I'm not... <laughs> I'm not sure what we're going to pull from for the actual performance. Okay, so next up, um, I've given this three. You actually haven't ranked this in your top ten, but this Am is the Netherlands. Oh. See, I, I forget all of the um, the countries, which just goes to show that there's absolutely like no preferential treatment or politics in this. I just remember the songs and I forget you which countries are You don't know any country, where them. any countries are, so that would be um, I really do like know. that. Where did I put that? It must be high. This is Steen um, and the song is Die Diepche. And it is, it, again, it started out quite high for me. But oh it's, yeah, that's 17 for me. It's just kind of slowly gone down as more has come out. Um, but it, this is another one which is, it's up there. With, we listen to it a lot, don't we? We do. It's definitely, I think, a top 10 moment. I can see Possibly. it being in the top Possibly, 10. Possibly, yeah. It has that kind of sophistication to it where I can mm. I can easily see it there. But again, it's just like an ease and she has a lovely, lovely voice. I think so, it's also 
very radio friendly. I think this could get a lot of radio It is, play. and it has something of, which is the Netherlands, I don't know, maybe this is some kind of connection, but with Arcade, when Duncan Lawrence won for Arcade, there was that kind of like, I like vocal this more. moment where it just kind of had that ooh 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 moment, which again with this, it's the ooh 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, um, I prefer this to Arcade. I prefer this to Arcade. I won't lie, I never really got Arcade. It's I a really song. liked it, but I, I I was surprised that it won. I'm not really surprised. It would be in the same way that At the time it was. won. I wouldn't be surprised because I get it, but it just isn't, it doesn't, it didn't have Don't that kind jump of ahead. We'll talk about that, that thing in a moment. for me. All right, Christ. Okay, the next one, again, this is all you. This is Albania. Go. And it came here to find it. Hey, aqua donna donna. Go, Martha. You will be my secret. <laughs> that was fucking on pitch. That was really good. Shut <laughs> up. That went bad. That was really good. You will be my secret. <laughs> that was fucking on pitch. Was... <laughs> this is Renela Hajati. Hajati. The song is Secret. She is an icon. I love her. I love her. I have said this <laughs> to Nova. I've said it on the 12 Points from America podcast. I will mention that at the end. I do not think this is going to get as many points in the final because it will qualify. I'm absolutely for sure. Everyone is for sure this mm -hmm. will qualify. Her performance will be excellent because we've seen her do it. It's a very... It's an upbeat moment. And like you said, there aren't that many and people are yeah. going to really be craving And again, this. this is going to be a moment for like real pop star choreography. The closest thing you can compare this to in the whole ro roaster is Spain. And they're completely and different. Very, very different. But I think in terms of that, it's going to it's gonna fall down a bit because I don't think it's going to get so I, as much attention. For the same reason, I think this is why this is going to do well because it's one of two like almost comparable songs there's she's got such excellent taste like her music videos are always like really really good i know you i know you didn't like the music video for this but generally speaking it was a bit hammy her style her styling is always incredible her hair and makeup and outfits are always great if you look at like her previous releases um it's always really really high production value and I just have a lot of confidence in the package that they're going to pull out for this. I think it will be something really amazing. And I think that will elevate this song. I don't, I, I don't dislike it. I don't dislike I also Spain. really much prefer the revamp. I think the revamp was so, such a great idea. So, see, I think the revamp seemed a bit like, like it was a last ditch to get some more points in. They were like, we'll put a little English in there to try and make it appeal slightly wider. Well, the song was English to begin with. Well, yes, but they didn't go with English, did they? No, but it existed she in English won, first. She won the Albanian national final with, in Albanian, yeah. in the Albanian version. Anyway. Yeah, but e yeah, but even doing that performance, she added English in that wasn't in the original studio. I'm going to put English in you in a second. Do you understand? Do you understand Turn me? Turn the camera off. Hi, can you hear me? Ah. Go get me a dildo. Yeah, you sound like a nice guy. I mean, it can come see. <laughs> How long does it go on for? <laughs> Water sports. In half an hour. So, yes, I mean, we'll see how it goes down. I don't dislike the song by any means, but it's just really, I didn't really gel with it that much. Makada. Um, Makada. Hey. And take the fucking eagle sound effect out of it. My God, what is this legendary creature? <laughs> okay, let's move on now to, this must have fallen out of your top 10, but we listen to this all the time. This is Poland. <laughs> Oh yes, this has only just fallen out of my top 10. When we say that we're ranking our top 10, it, 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 I think that is a sign that it's not a weak year because there's about five or six where you just think like, oh, I'd love to just be able to talk about that and have it in the top 10, but it just it just isn't there. Oh no, I think, they, I think this has gradually slipped actually because it's not as high as I remember it being. Um, this is 16th for me. This is Ochman with River and... <clears throat> Yes, there's a lot of debate about whether or not this is actually very good or very, very naff. His voice is the selling point here, I think. The song is maybe a, l a little bit... He's got a lovely voice, but I think he's the victim of... The voice and the singing is almost so perfect, it borders on boring. And there's... I, I struggle to get the emotion out of the vocal performance that I want because it is quite an emotional song. 
It's very emotional. I feel like it could too perfect. singing about throwing himself in a river. It's real depressing if you actually break down the lyrics. Do you know what I mean though? Like I feel like the, the performance is too, it's too flawless. It's, it's a not little a, shiny. I want like a, a little bit of edge to it. I want a, a something, I want more rawness to it. Well, and I don't get that. We've seen him perform this live and for it's one the same. time. I feel like it feels the same. It's a bit it's flat. It's been said though, I believe he said that he was not up to par. He wasn't well, X, Y, and Z. Oh yes. That's why perhaps there was not much emotion going on. They need to change what he was wearing because that was not unacceptable. acceptable. That was <laughs> the most dated thing ever. Mm. In uh, in just the purest way something can be dated, it was just dreadful. So we don't really know what they're going to do with it, but I'm this thinking... Is, this is one where the, the final live performance could really make or break it. It's going to be up against... A, it's a, in a similar kind of like super emotional moment. It's going to be up against There's Australia. It's going to be up against Azerbaijan. It needs to really kind of like find its its own kind of groove yep. to pull people away from that. Yeah. Whether it will actually end up in... I'm, I do think it will end up in the top 10. It's very popular. What? The top 10, Poland, what, yeah. What, the final? Yeah. Oh, no, I don't think so. I think well, it will. Well, it depends on the performance. I don't... I don't I, don't I, say I depends. Don't, don't touch my boobs. I'll do what I like, first of all, because you're my wife. Because you can't touch my boobies. Do you remember... Oh, my God, do you remember that? I thought you were going to do, yeah, 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 I'll be there. <laughs> Got a new head's going to drive the boys crazy. Yeah, 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 I'll be there. 38. Triple, Triple F. F. Shut up. Oh my God, love Monique. Okay, so that's Poland. We're going to, we might start now. Okay, this is the first one now coming in. That we've both given that points. That we've both given points to. And I think it's going to really surprise people. And it's <laughs> North Macedonia. Oh. So North Macedonia, the singer is Andrea, mm -hmm. and the song is called Circles. Mm -hmm. Now, when this first came out, it did absolutely nothing. No one was talking about it at all. How many points have we given this? So you've given this three, and I've given it two for a combined okay. total of five. Oh my God! Stop. Congratulations. That, that hurts. I'm sorry. No, it doesn't hurt at all. <laughs> Don't scratch it. <laughs> Fucking hell. Yeah, so this is this is one that did not have much of an impact when it first came out. There was a revamp. It, it was on our radar as soon as it came out though. Yes. Like immediately. We were like, ooh. It's had a good this, revamp. This could this could be something good. It's not done as, as much with the revamp mm. revamp as I wanted, especially because they added that super naff bit where she just goes, Crazy! Crazy! See, that doesn't bug me as much as it upsets you. I do think, though, there's a moment towards the end in the revamp where it's there's now an opportunity for her to do, like, a big belting moment, for her to do a nice big riff live. And I always like it when the live performance brings a new vocal flourish that we haven't heard in the studio version. Yeah. I like that because it's like, this is like something black, extra. Like City Lights. Do you remember at the end and she finally took it up right yeah. at the end and it really, really made it come alive. Or Dami M with The Sound of Silence was a completely different she vocal performance. She nailed that. And there's a, there's a, a discourse about my Not, mood as well always does like harmonies over like the second chorus that isn't in the studio version that I really There's like. a discussion about not every song needs a moment or a vocal moment. But this one really, I think, was it does. crying out I think, for I think it. this one does does need it. I think it's a really, really good But it's heartfelt. Song. People it's are saying honest. it's naff and like a student has written no. it. I don't agree at all. You can see that she's selling this. Honest, I think that's honest a good word Honest and to... authentic. And I her voice is very words. unusual. It's mm. very kind of like deep. There's, there's a singer, well, she's not, she's not really a singer, is she? In the UK, she's, well, she's a singer. She perform, perform, perform. Puff. Can't call her a puff. <laughs> she's called Gabriella London. Yes. And she was on... No, she's not. She's called London Ellis. Who's Gabriella London? That's probably a makeup brand. That's because her name was Gabriella Ellis. Ellis, and she's now London, London Ellis. Ellis. Anyway. From London to LA. She's got, she was on... Not Essex, what's the other one called? Made, she was on Made in Chelsea. Anyway, mm. she's she has a very a similar a, a voice which is comparable because it's okay, very a much, like... much better comparison would be it's Ooh. like all, almost Shakira y. If well, you think that's about that. Too it's too much the other side. Well, no, but like it's that kind of. Do your best style Shakira right now. Um, oh, God. Right now. La 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 la. <laughs> la 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 la. Ooh, baby, when I don't I know what key that was. <laughs> Ooh, baby, when I sniff glue, it makes everything go blue. Anyway, um, I, I really love her image. I think the music video is good. I like her. I think she's interesting. And I'm really excited to see what she does with this. 
it's one that people I think really are not appreciating. Yeah. It's it's <clears throat> second from bottom in the bookies. I don't get that. Okay, the bookies we understand is not it's not valuable to look at it yet because there's no money in there. But it's still like let's wake up and look at North Macedonia. Okay, yeah. the next one, um, you've given this one point. I've given it five. Is France? <laughs> This is really good. This is So this great. is where I start to feel guilty for giving countries so few points. But this is where my top 10, I really, really just like all of them. And fuck me, do I like it's France. A, so I'm a, upset that I've only given one point. A but, conflict where to put people yeah. and you f end up feeling guilty. Um, this is... Fulen. It's sung in, how are we pronouncing the language? Bre Breton. Breton. Shut up. I don't know how to, I'm, I'm sorry, I don't know how to pronounce that. I don't know. This is the first Eurovision ever, which does not see, feature a word of French, which I think is very interesting. I think because last year, the top two in the, in the top three was in French, but I anyway. think people were very surprised that this ended up winning the French national selection. Um, I'm so glad it did, because I did not care for the other one. It's definitely shim influenced in in some ways but like it's still got its own sound and its own thing and i just love the whole presentation if you haven't watched the national selection performance of this it's so interesting and so good it's the lyrics as well it's just like some kind of satanic ritual it's like a chant spell in the woods thing. and there's like runes and symbols that appear on the stage beneath them and it's so good and it's just like such a bop. When that chorus goes, I can see why people would draw a comparison with Shim. I, I don't think that it will do as well as Shim did. No. <clears throat> but I, I prefer this to Shim. I know you're not, you're not going to agree with me on that one. Um, well, that's incorrect. I find Shim a bit aggressive sometimes, and I'm just like, oh yes. god, it feels like that's like a hangover in, in a song. It's like, oh god, just like sh let's just calm down for a second. I like the aggression. Um, I don't know. I do like Shim, but I can I can see why the um, the comparison is there. But there's something very intoxicating about this song. Mm. It kind of feels like it's you're you're in sort of like a trance when you're listening to it. It's just it kind of like gets a grip of you. And I would say this one is a bop. It's like one of the boppy ones. It's it's got some really great vocals, a really strong production. It's interesting sounding, but then it's also like some kind of like crazy dance track. It just kind of has to be seen to be kind of understood. And I, I, I really feel now that it was a good thing that Spain did not select Terra for their yeah, song. Yeah, because I think this is better. Because this it is kind of very similar. This is better. This is better. Um, but yes, check out France. If you've not not really that kind of like vibing with France, give it a go because God, it's great. Okay, the next one, <clears throat> you've not given any points to. Oh, okay. Um, I've given it seven, so it's quite half of mine. Sure. Um, and I... We have not said this in about five, six years, but it's the United Kingdom. Can you imagine we're doing a, we're doing a Eurovision top ten? The UK. This How are you is, aware of the UK? This is the best song we've submitted since Lucy Jones in, was that 2018? I think it was 2017. So we so that, loved that, Lucy that much, Jones. I will say. We loved that song, and that, that felt very unusual to be able to say that we really like the song that we to, are sending. To this day, I still personally felt like that deserved to win. I thought that was a winning yes. song and a winning performance. And I don't think I've ever remotely considered that about the UK before. Any like other. Ever. I know people disagree. I know in hindsight, people have picked apart things apart from that performance, but I thought that deserved to win. Previous to Lucy Jones, the last time before that that I backed the UK was Jessica Garlic, and that was in oh my 2000 God, that was so good. 2002, three possibly, very long time ago. So anyway, I think the thing that we loved so much about Lucy Jones was that yes, okay, the vocal, it's not, it was it was a little bit shaky possibly, but the staging was excellent. The song the was great. The staging was fantastic. And the UK has such a fucking problem with staging. It's just so embarrassed to send a giant trumpet. Why don't you have a giant yeah. trumpet like shitting James Newman out on the stage? Out of the embers. Great. How many points do we get in the end? Oh, really? Oh, I thought we would have done better. Anyway, this is Sam Ryder. The song is Spaceman. It's a I little... I don't hate this. 
it's perhaps a little reminiscent of there's a song or two we could insert. That's fine. Gabriella it sounds Applin. A little. It sounds very British, which is the the main mm -hmm. problem with it. I've seen a lot of people draw comparisons to Elton John, mm -hmm. which I see. Mm -hmm. It's a very similar style mm -hmm. of melody. Um, Plus Rocket Man, Space the, Man. The lyrics as well. I think there there is a lot of Elton in there. Um, to me, it just sounds a little bit dated. It makes me think of when you would turn on Radio 1 and you'd be hit by James Morrison, The Feeling, Daniel Powter. It's that kind of Daniel vibe. Daniel Powter, shut up. You can plug yourself up, don't you? It's that kind of vibe, which is not bad because they were all really successful artists many years ago. I think that's a little bit, that's a little bit of poo you've just said there. No, I think that's, that's that what it makes you think of. I think there's a fresh sound to this, no. which actually does kind of pull it away from James Newman, Michael Rice. Michael Rice, was that his name? I don't think there's a single thing about this that's fresh whatsoever. I do Apart think... from the artist's image himself. I like his aesthetic. I like his hair and his beard. He's enthusiastic. I think that gives it a bit of freshness. I disagree with everything else. Oh, you're quite done. Thank you. Fuck. <laughs> I do think that, although a lot of what you said about the, the song itself is valid, I think he being a very pro Eurovision, very, very likable guy. That means a lot. Makes, it is so valuable. That, that a, a lot goes for that. And his voice is particularly good. I would say he was probably is, is probably one of the stronger vocalists of the pack, don't you think? Yep. He's up. He's yeah, certainly up there. I agree. I don't think the TikTok angle will have much influence at all. No. He is the real selling point of this. He's just very, very likable. Yeah. Guy next door, mouth that you could fit a cantaloupe in and it would still wobble. And this is the first time in years that the UK is actually doing a mini promo, promo tour. tour and we're going uh, to different countries that can actually vote for us now like, i will say though they cut the wrong part out of this song they cut out to make it three minutes they cut out the now nah, but now nah, there but and that is the real go guns yeah. for it bit at the end go guns for it go guns go get her go get her david get her gun slinging david blaine Gordon Brown, bigoted woman. <laughs> she just a sort of bigoted woman. I just I like it. I do. I like this song. I don't hate this song. I think he's better than this song. I just wish they gave him a song that didn't rely so oh, much on I his like falsetto because he has a very consistent falsetto. He doesn't struggle hitting the notes, but he has much more power in his lower register. And I would say most of it Listen is falsetto. Listen to the honest vocal coach over here. There are some notes that he really, really punches out. And I feel like we're missing that in the main hook of the song. You don't know what I just did in the edit there. Right. You've got no idea, but I know. <laughs> I do think we're looking at best will in the world, a score in the teens. I think like top 15. Possibly, Lucy Jones came 15th, which for that year, I think it should have been higher. That, should, that was a top that was 10. Shit. That was horse I think that, you know, the UK being 15th to 10th is honestly the best yeah. we might do with yeah. this. But I would be very, very willing to be proven wrong. It seems to be very popular. If we send him in a fucking space suit. Don't do it. I don't want him coming out of James Newman's trumpet. We're going to move on now to a country that I haven't given shit to. Oh, okay. And Nova's given eight whole points to this, and it's Norway. <laughs> I can't believe you didn't, you kind of liked this and I feel like, have, have I overplayed it? Have I ruined it? Do you not know the answer to that question? Have you overplayed? You don't play anything else. I fucking love this. This is um, Give That Wolf a Banana from Subwoofer. I fucking love this. I'm not <laughs> opposed to it being daft, first of all. I don't care that the lyrics are, 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 are playful <clears throat> and a bit jokey. I don't give a shit about that. And it sounds 
it sounds real good. It's really, really a banger. That comes on in a club and I'm not going to be mad about it. It's just a good song. I just don't think it really deserves to be up there with, with some of the rest, but... There is nothing else like it in the competition this year. No, well, of nothing. Course of course it's not. It is completely, completely unique. And I think that will do a lot for it. It's I think, fun. I think every time they performed it, it's been super, super tight. I just like the whole package. I like that they've created these kind of characters that they're like aliens from space. And, uh, oh. Did you hear that? Yeah. I'm wearing I just think it's fun. Dress. It's catchy. I just love this so much. Again, you know, it might be left side of the board, possibly. Actually, yes, no, people are really going to respond to this, so it will be I left think this side be of the top board. 10. It will be. I think top 10 is actually, oh, frustratingly, I think the, yeah, I could I see think it the in the tele top 10. The oh. televote is going to do very well for this. I it think will people have are going to really like it. Juries aren't going to give this peanuts, so it's going to have to really rain in the I can votes. see the UK giving it points. And we were talking about this in the car in terms of staging. I think they should take their. <clears throat> their yellow wolf masks and recreate them in like a plastic or something a bit more I futuristic. I think like a translucent perspex would be really Some cool. kind of perspex, something which elevates it slightly from being just cloth because the very first time, I mean in the video, you can tell someone's made this in a back room. Okay, the next one you've given 10 points to, I've not given it points. Does, is 10 points second? Yes. So this is Italy. <laughs> This is Italy. You've not given them any points. I haven't given Italy any points. Um, I'm going to break up with you. Yes, well, you didn't give you didn't give, you didn't give me, 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 Lithuania me. A, a peanut. You can't compare them. She's got a bowl on her head. So does Mahmood. A bowl? What? Yeah, it's like a monk cut. Now, I'll say my piece just real quick here. If this wins, I will understand why, in the same way that I understood why Arcade mm. will win. Mm. And I get, I get it, I get there is a sophistication that sets this apart from the rest. I don't actually think this will end up winning now. Might well do, but I, 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 I don't gel with it as much because I just find it a little bit dreary. I think again, it need, we need to see what they're going to do for the live performance to inject some life into it. Because this was one of the first, one of the earliest songs that we had, wasn't it? So uh, we've it was had this for a while. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. We've had this for a while. I just find it a little bit dreary. I think it's absolutely beautiful. It's nice to I listen think to. It's so beautiful. Yeah. They perform it so well together. I love how their voices contrast, but then they seem to meld well together. And the lyrics are really pretty. Again, it is pretty. I don't think we have a three minute version of this yet. So I'll be uh, seeing how they're going to do it for the semi final like preview will be very, very interesting. When they performed it, it's it's very passionate because they are singing it's towards very each passionate. other. And it's like a real kind of moment on stage. So what they can, I, I imagine they'll probably keep it quite simple with the staging. Can't really they tell need to, which direction they'll go with that. They need to cut quite a lot out of it. And I really hope that Blanco's kind of talk singing towards the end is kept in because that is one of the best parts of the song. So I can't say it's overrated because clearly everyone fucking loves it. I just, I personally, I find it a little bit dreary. Uh, but I, I would understand if it if it won. If it wins, that points. would be so fun as well for Italy to win two years in a row. I kind of just want it to win for that novelty. Like, how fun. Okay, so after this now, we're talking about another one that we've given points to. Uh, this is the Czech Republic. Where are you now? I mean... How many points did we give it? So you gave it five, I gave mm. it six. Oh, so close. Uh, very, very close. Um, it's that's, that's a top sort of five moment there for us. We play this all the time. It is so intoxicating. Contrasting to Brividi, this was even earlier than that. And we still play this and still can't get enough of it. So it's We Are Domi, Lights Off. A very, it kind of lulls you into this, into this feeling of, uh, it's like a late night in a club kind of thing, and I you're not love really sure moody dance club. what, where it's I gonna go, that. and then her vocal, it, it, it picks up pace, and then once it's got you, it literally doesn't let you go, and her, her vocal is very, very cutting. It's a very dynamic song. There's different levels to it. It doesn't kind of give you a chance to 
rest, does it? Because it's always taking you somewhere. There was a very, very minor, I, I don't really like to call it a revamp. It's almost just like a slight remix. They made a they few tweaks. They fiddled with tweaks. it a little bit. A few tweaks, which I think, I think for the better. I think so too. Um, they added an extra layer of vocals towards the end, which really carried. Yeah, where, there's a few where more like ad libs and, it's, and it's, stuff. It keeps going, and it's like, but it's very subtle, and it's very kind of egg, the kind of um, what is it like echoey? It's under under the like an undercurrent situation, but it just keeps before going. the second chorus, there's a moment of silence now, which I think is really effective. It's just lovely to listen to. It's a, mm. it's such a fucking banger. I hope that she wears that boiler suit. She's very yeah, cool. I love that boiler suit. She's really, really cool. It's just a cool I love what she's wearing in the music video as well. That coat this is, is really cool. I think by far the best music video that we've had so far that's come out of, of this Eurovision season. Don't you think that that video is so good? So much money was, was poured into that. Yeah, it was good. Really good. Okay, the next one then. So we're getting now into, this is the one that we have put third place. Mm-hmm. You've given this six, I've given it ten. This is Australia. I just want to preface this by saying I am so sick and tired of seeing people on social media give this guy, like, grief and saying how shit of a singer he is, which, first of all, is just, like, scientifically incorrect. Like, you don't have ears. How can I'm you seeing, say that? How can you say that? I'm seeing so much hate directed in that it's a shit song, it's boring, that um, this will be a non-qualifier. I'm seeing a lot of hate directed at him. And I'm There's sick no of way it. I'm so qualify. sick of it. It's gorgeous. I think his vocal is very, very impressive. So what the fuck people are talking about, I don't know. Whether it's because he's very, very young and a lot of Euro fans who get really pissy and toxic on Twitter are probably also young. I've seen a lot of people not like the fact that when he did it in um, the national selection, he cried. A lot of people didn't like that. They thought it was like fake. This- I mean, you have your lifelong dream come true this on, is on live thing. TV and TV. Sheldon Riley has said in what? interviews for years that like his dream is he wants to do Eurovision. Like he's always wanted to do a Eurovision song. He's submitted about like 20 different songs before they came to this one. I just, like this is something he's always wanted to do. So obviously it's going to be emotional. It's emotional. I mean, I, it, so long as he doesn't cry on, on the final yeah. and he is a professional about that and he tries yeah. to hold it together and he does, a good job then, that's fine. If it's a national final, it's not really the end of the world, is it? So first of all, no one gives a shit. Yeah. Um, it's, people have said it's repetitive, and I said this in the last video, and I'll say it again. I think it's a message that bears repeating. I don't care that it's... I think, actually, that makes it more powerful that he's literally saying it over and over again. That really resonates with me, so I like that about it. It's a beautiful song. I think the staging, they don't really need to change much about what they did for the final. I the don't think final. it's a perfect song. I do think that towards the end, they need to amp it up a bit. Something I do think it, build, it builds change. up really dramatically and there's not enough of a payoff for me. And if you listen to some of his back catalogue, um, he has got much better songs. So I was, I, was, I, I was initially quite disappointed by this song because he has got some really stunning songs. And we heard a, like a teaser, which which kind of just lends credence to the idea that you shouldn't really go in and listen to yeah. rumours and stuff. But we heard a teaser that we thought was excellent and then that wasn't, it didn't wasn't end up song. being it. Yeah. So I think we were initially a bit disappointed, but then we didn't really listen to it, with, it without bias. Like we weren't really very fair about it. Um, but we listen to it all the time. I do really it's like beautiful. it. Beautiful, I think yeah. it's just beautiful. And like he's so incredibly talented. There's no overthinking this one. Shout out to you, Shield. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna move in now to our second place. Oh my gosh. This one is my 12 points. So this is my favorite. Um, you've given this seven and this is Greece. Oh yes, okay. I could see this winning. I could see this winning. We'll do a quick roundup of what we think are the, are the winning songs. Yeah. But this could win. So this is Amanda. I apologize. I'm not really sure how to pronounce the surname. Can you fit? I what, said what it just then. Name? I said it. Amanda calling. <laughs> Trip that. Monica darling. <laughs> this song is called Die Together. 
And this is the kind of song that I look for. So for me, mm. this was Leslie Roy Maps last year. We're not going to dwell on it, but that How was my- How can you compare the two? No, 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 I'm not comparing them. I said, this is the kind of song I look for, which is, let me fucking speak for right. one second. You're gonna have to tell me how the The two... one that gives me that emotional readout. Okay. Where it just kind of, it gets to me and I don't have to think about it. I don't think about, oh, I wish this would go there. And oh, I wish it would just, I literally just yeah. let it take over me. And I get that kind of like, it's like an ASMR thing. And I'm like, this is beautiful. And all I want to do is listen to this on repeat. So this was that for me. And it starts out in a very, something which I feel like you would think people would do more, which is that kind of image in here. Yeah, the image in here. Acapella heat. moment. Layered vocals. Layer. And it, if you're just listening to that with headphones on, you're just it just immediately captures you. You're just immediately there. And, it's and it very rich. stays a cappella for quite a while. It's very crisp. Very, very and gradual. And the song really, really makes use of silence to begin with. The the vocals cut off very quickly. Abruptly. And, and sharply. Which is a very pleasant thing to hear, I think, in your ear holes. I just like that it, it creates drama. I just, I love dramatic, big cinematic songs. And straight away, even before it gets to the climax, I think those moments of silence are so dramatic. It's just as powerful sometimes to have nothing there at all than just like a shit ton thrown at you. Very, yeah. very powerful. I think in a, in a year when there are a lot of clumsy lyrics, a lot, a lot, a yes. lot of suspicious oh, yeah. lyrics. Let's yeah. talk about Finland, talk about Latvia, some fucking Montenegro's warm oh, Jesus smell. Christ. She's worried about her warm smell. They can't breathe. Well, then go see a doctor. The lyrics are very, very clumsy all over the place. This one, if we die together now, I can hold you for forever. It's the simplest there's no embellishments. It's not, you know, overly thought out. It's just, it is what it is. And I love it. I can't I wait to see her do this. I think this is like a 10 out of 10. Which leads us to our number one, which unfortunately is probably a bit of a letdown for people who are expecting something interesting. Because we've not mentioned it yet, so. Yeah, so you've probably figured it out. And it is Sweden. Now listen, so you've given this as your 12. I've given this eight. I really, really, really struggle with my top three, like how to order them. So my top three at the moment is Sweden, yep. Italy, and Norway. Mm -hmm. And I really, really struggle. But if I am if I listen to my heart and I'm honest with myself, that's you the order. You think San Marino? Oh. <laughs> Sweden is, I think, the one that's actually gonna win. I... It's Cornelia Jacobs, first of all. Let's yes. just say, Cornelia Jacobs, yes. hold me closer. And it, I don't actually think I probably have anything negative to say about it. No. It's in the same level of, of you know, we said North Macedonia, there's a, there's a kind of authenticity there. I mean, this has that in spades. She's literally a chick on a stage. It's so unpretentious. She's got on a nice outfit, but she's just got on, she's got a fucking microphone and she's literally just singing her heart out. She performs it much in a way that the lead character in like a musical or a rock opera would perform it in that they, like, uh, like the Broadway star musicals, like the character will speak, speak, speak and they uh, become so overcome with emotion they start singing and it's, I, I, I imagine that she's just, this is, coming out of her head and she's making it up as she's going along and it's just so... What are you doing? I was along! No. I was a... I feel like it's so genuine and so passionate. I feel like she's just expressing her state of mind at the time and this is the song that's coming that's out. It's come out of it. it yeah. It's so genuine and it's beautiful. The song is so great. Her voice is excellent. Very, very strong. It's like a mid-tempo, isn't it, kind of moment. I love that she's got that kind of raspiness There's to her voice. There's a bit voice. of a rasp So when there. she really pushes, you get that rasp, and I love that. It's mature, it's engaging, it's instantly, you can sing along to it, you know where it's gonna go. She's also really hot, I love it's that. It's the most primo example of less is more, I think. It, it's yeah. just such a perfect package. But we're looking at, Nova, Sweden, Italy, we haven't put Ukraine in our top, and I think a lot of people might assume that we would. So Ukraine is, I think I might have it like 12th or something. It's, like it's, 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 it's very, very me. close. We quite like Ukraine's. I don't like I the like kind it of more rap. than you do. I don't like the kind of rap breakdown bit. I, I find that a bit kind of, I could, you know, take it or leave that. So I've got Ukraine 14th. That is a, a, a winning song because of how popular Stephania. it is. 
I think because of how popular it is and because people want to show their kind of solidarity, and obviously I that's a winning song. I would not be mad if that won. I wouldn't be, um, and would I, not be mad at all. I do not ascribe to um, the narrative that it would just be because of the political climate at the moment. I don't believe that. I think it is a good song. I think Certainly it's a really good that song. could be the way it goes with the telly voting. I don't think juries would be in that mindset of a lot, I'll just pick Ukraine because it's showing solidarity. Yeah. But it still mm. might be enough to kind of like clinch the win. So we're looking at Ukraine, Italy, Sweden. Mm -hmm. I think Greece is a winning song. Yeah, I don't um, know how it will be received though. What else do you Greece. think? I think we're looking at maybe those four, do you think? I wouldn't actually be surprised if you if you found the Netherlands in the top five, because that seems to be a, a very popular choice. The biggest dark horse this year is going to be Portugal, and I love that song. No, it's I think the just, biggest dark horse is North Macedonia. It's just, no, I really don't think that's going to do as well as we hope it will. I think it will. Um, I think Portugal's song is beautiful. I think is Azerbaijan... Is that Sodade? Yes. I think Azerbaijan's song is, is, is very, very strong. It's just going to be a case of which one of those comes out on top because it's like male, kind of ballad -y, very powerful song. Serbia, we like that one. Well, I we like also that haven't one. spoken about shit. I think... Um, about shit? Yeah, like shit songs. You like who's, who's at your bottom? Oh, don't say shit's not very nice, is it? No, but some of them are bad. My bottom three are Bulgaria, San Marino and Slovenia. I've got Moldova, Germany and Georgia. I don't hate Georgia's. I also, Moldova and Germany are my, the next two up. I also don't like Bulgaria. I don't like Croatia. Okay, well, we're not being negative in this, are we? We've been no, very, but very we've only spoken about the positive ones. And just if people are wondering yes, what don't we like. The bottom ones are, then that's it. We'll prop, Maybe we'll post our official listing on the Patron, which is oh, a yeah. great moment for us to say, if you'd like to join us over on the Patron for exclusive shit, then here's the link. Um, I'd like to just point out as well that um, we get a lot of our sort of Eurovision discourse, if you like, from, I guess, two major areas, um, hmm. creators and contributors inside the Eurovision bubble. It's a podcast out of Minnesota called 12 Points from America. It's a bunch of Americans, if you can imagine that, which I think thinking about it and our other our other uh contributor is also american i, I like it's that because they they have no bias whatsoever but yeah they've got no how they in the can race. be completely honest about it yeah so 12 points from america if you check out the latest episode i was a guest on there um and we spoke about sort of six countries and, and we sort of broke down whether or not they'll get through the semis um and then also the other contributor we watch a lot is alicia michelle hmm. and if you want someone who is literally as on the level as it can possibly be. She gives we the most in-depth so, analyses. So, so, so rarely disagree with her. She's very, very into breaking every, every tiny aspect down from styling and staging and vocals and every kind of thing you can think of. So um, shout out to you, Alicia. We think the world of you. Um, that's also someone that we kind of really try and sort of engage with to get yes. that information. Yeah. Um, so that's where we're at at the moment. I believe we should do one more of these right before Eurovision week to talk about our predictions for who's going to get through. Uh, we could do. Because at that point we'll have seen some staging and stuff before the semi. I don't know if that's like overkill. No, it's not because that's in like a month. Maybe specifically talking about staging then. Uh, Let us know in the comments if you, if want you another have one. any interest whatsoever in the American Song Contest. Oh, because no. we could do a kind of like review video after the fact or leading up to the final. Social media is going to be on the screen right now. Um, please join us over on Twitch as well if you'd like to see yes, us do we're some- we're streaming some, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Some gaming shit! <laughs> There's some birthday shout outs to do because the Patron, some of those guys get birthday shout outs, including- but not you do. Okay, Inga Solberg, doll. We missed your birthday. There was a whole thing about that, but we've spoken about it now. I can't this is your. You missed it. No, I didn't. But I'm just. I'm not. I'm taking the blame to be nice. <laughs> that was for March 11th. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. You follow us for a long time. I know you yes. send us messages and stuff. So thank you very much um, for that. So March 25th, we have Daniel and Elizabeth. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, dolls. March 26th, we've got Zach Lamotte. Happy birthday. Oh yes. And then 27th, we have Antarctics, Danielle, and Starlos. Happy birthday. Oh my god, happy birthday to you guys. Um, March 28th, Dan Kumar, Hilda, and Thomas F. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to guys. you guys. Thank you very much. Yeah, let's go order some grub. Uh, 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 I'm really hungry. I'm so hungry. This dress stinks. <laughs> yeah, you look weird. Anna, Europe! 
to our brand new patrons Dilbo Baggins, Brendan from Bristol, Mikey, Lasha Janasha, Michael Tuomi, Bryce Giordano, Mistake, Superficial Blackberry, Jennifer Agar, Xander, Darren and Callum, Ben the Overlord, Neve Reynolds, Matthew Stockdale, and Oliver Terry. Go get her. Go get her. David get her. Gun slinging. David Blaine. Gordon Brown, bigoted woman. <laughs> Join the Patron, we'll do a shot of Patron.